Our guests today are Laura Wolf and her daughter, Hillary Kalma. They are going to talk about a walk for HAE. And I had to ask right away, wait a minute, I haven't heard of that. What is HAE? So Laura, tell us, what is HAE? HAE is hereditary angioedema. Um, we have a C1 inhibitor deficiency. We're missing a protein in our blood. Um, if you was to um, uh, close your hand in a uh, car door, your hand would swell. Our swelling does not stop. It just gets as big as it can possibly get. And if it gets in your throat, it's fatal. And that's what happened to my youngest daughter, Landon, in 2004. So what did she have that caused her throat to swell like that? Um, there's, um, uh, I, I don't know if she was stressed at school, or stress is a big trigger. Huh. The biggest trigger is dental work because it's so close to the throat. Any kind of trauma or being bumped around and uh, going into your throat. And it moves. You can swell in your foot and it can actually migrate up to, up to your throat. Excuse me. Okay. And um, a lot of people have uh, abdominal attacks and those are excruciating pain because your GI tract swells shut. Nothing can pass. Mm -hmm. A drink of water will set you into... Uh, I call it labor pains mm. for women and um, men I would say it'd be like a kidney stone, kidney stone or appendicitis. Oh. I had my appendix out when I was seventh grade and I really think they took it out for no reason because after knowing what I had and having the abdominal attacks the pain was the same. It hurts to move. Oh. Um, it's just very, very painful. So when did you discover, or the doctors discovered, that this is what you had? I was diagnosed after, about six months after Lyndon was born in 92, and, uh, but I could remember having attacks as early as fourth grade. Mm -hmm. I chipped my tooth on a desk and my face swelled up, and they're like, oh, you know, you'll be fine, it's just blunt force trauma. And, right. Um, I was hospitalized a couple of times. Um, thinking they thought I had appendicitis uh -huh. and all the blood work come back fine so they just watched me till right. the pain quit and let me go. Right. Seventh grade I had my appendix out and um, seventh grade I also had braces put on my teeth and my face swelled up and they're like well you must be allergic to the cement on the braces right. so it's always <coughs> misdiagnosed as allergic reaction right. so we're, we've really worked hard in getting the medical community aware of this disease. Well, it is very, very rare. Very so, rare. Right? One in 20,000 people. Wow. Yeah. But in the Coleman area, it's in the Moore family, and there's 103 patients within a 50-mile radius of Coleman wow. that are registered with the USHAEA. And that's just the patients that are registered. They right. know, so so know what they have. Some of them yeah. are probably out there and don't realize exactly. that this is what they have. So it's hereditary. So yes. you you pass it on, and you didn't even realize it at first because you said this was your other daughter that was younger. Yes. Right? That's when they determined that. So you, you actually have the disease as well. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. But I wasn't aware that I had it until after my oldest daughter was born. So growing up, my mom and sister would have attacks, and I thought, but, uh, you know, it wasn't passed on to me. Right. And so after my oldest daughter was born, I started having symptoms and was tested and found out that I did have it. Okay. What is the test they do to confirm? Is it a blood test? Yes. yes. It's a C1 inhibitor and a C4 function test. So they check to see if you have the protein and if you do, how is it functioning? So there's two top, well, there's three types of HAE patients, but we're different. Uh, different in that some of us don't have the protein at all, some of us have very little, some of us have some, but it doesn't function correctly. Okay, so three different categories. <laughs> yes. I think. So that, does it make the treatment any different or yeah. is there any treatment for it? Yes, there's okay. uh, several new treatments and like mom has said before, um, when my sister passed away, there wasn't anything really for her. Um, they treated with steroids, which was very detrimental to your health, really didn't work okay. that well. And so now there are m medicines made from blood proteins. Um, they're doing studies with 
things, even rabbit milk, you know, the, yes. there's several studies out there to try to, you know, get us some help. You know, it's a, it's an orphan disease, so there wasn't a lot of research until now, you know, mm -hmm. so now we have a couple of rescue options. There's one uh, treatment that you can take through an IV that prevents attacks. But not all of them are 100 percent, you know, there's no cure yet. They still have breakthrough attacks and mm -hmm. there's absolutely no cure yet. And let's go back to the prevents attacks. So is this something, you, how often do you have to get this or, um, or is it a one-time deal? I or? was on the preventative uh, when I was pregnant with my second daughter and I had to have an IV twice a week. So I would have a home health service come and uh, do the IV and they'd have to sit with me for about an hour to make sure that I wasn't going to react in a bad way to it. Um, and that's the only option as far as a preventative right now is to have that. And some people have to infuse more often. You know, we have, um, we know a lot of people around the country and even my mom knows a lot of people around the world that have the disease. Mm -hmm. And some, you know, we have friends who swell five days a week. Mm -hmm. um, they're, mm -hmm. they're on disability, they can't even work because they're swelling so frequently. Okay, and apparently it's painful when you swell. Yes. Very painful. Yes. Well, it's like having a twisted ankle and you've got a swollen ankle yes. and it's tight and it's red yes. and it's yes. kind of, but it's probably even ten times worse than that. Yes. yes. Kind of and your, you know, your GI tract when you swell, your intestines go from an opening like this down to a pinhole. So if you eat or drink, you know, you it's like she said, it's just like contractions. Is yeah. how it feels very painful, dehydrates you, drops your blood pressure, Vomiting you can pass power. out, oh my gosh, yeah. and it can even push up um, and affect your breathing. I mean, you know, you could die from an Not being abdominal able. attack as yeah. well as you could a throat attack. Goodness gracious. So is this something that you're, of course, trying to get the word out about this? Absolutely. Make it clear because <coughs> anybody knows about it, I mean, I would think. Yes. Other than it, that in your community, and I would imagine your doctor must know. So do you go yes. to a specialist for yes. this? Yes. You have to go to an allergist. Um, we have a doctor at Alabama Allergy in Birmingham. And um, the whole office is very educated in HAE, but he comes to Coleman at Coleman Regional. He has an office there on Thursdays. Okay. So we go to him. Um, uh, emergency rooms and stuff like that, uh, that's the main thing we want to educate because, you know, it's always misdiagnosed right. as an allergic reaction. And uh, we have... Uh, Coleman Regional is very much on track with this disease They're now. Familiar. They have two medications there in the emergency room to treat any HAE patient that comes in. Right. Now you're doing um, a walk, right, mm -hmm. to make for awareness, I would imagine. Yes. Is this also a fundraiser then? Yes. Okay. All proceeds, all donations uh, go to the U.S. Hereditary Angioedema Association okay. for research toward a cure. Okay. And um, in 2012, the U.S. Senate approved May 16th as HAE Day for awareness. Okay. And uh, we've done the walk since that year. So this will be our fourth annual Lyndon Brooks Stidham mm -hmm. Memorial Walk for HAE. All right. Yeah. And where is it going to be? Heritage Park behind Starbucks in the Walmart Pavilion. All righty. And how do they sign up for it? Do they go that just day? Just show up. It doesn't cost okay. a thing. If you want to donate, fine. If you just want to come and... Be educated. Uh -huh. You know, it's just a yeah. big family reunion. It's really a great time. We have a, uh, we have karaoke all day. You oh, know, okay. everybody just <laughs> has That's a great time. We're have food trucks. Food you know. truck, yeah. Um, but like she said, it's not, if you can give a dollar, yeah. it helps. If you mm -hmm. can't give anything, but just come show support yeah. or, you know, be educated so that right. someone else, I think every year we have at least one patient that calls or notifies mom and says, I had no idea, and mm -hmm. I you know, heard about your walk, and now I'm diagnosed. Right, yes. right. Now, education, are you going to be handing out information, yes. or are you going to do talking about it yes. and stuff like that? Um, okay. We will be handing out in, uh, education. All the drug companies that um, treat this disease will be there. Okay. Dr. Anderson, our doctor from Alabama Allergy, him and his nurse will be there. Um, yeah, and um, two representatives of the USHAEA will also be there. Okay. So there's plenty of information. And at yes. the end, we have a large balloon release in memory of Lyndon. We have released 400 pink and orange balloons, which was Lyndon's favorite color. Oh, okay. So 
And, and how old was she when she passed? She was 12. 12. In okay. 2004. And the new medications didn't come out till 2009, 2010. So. Uh, okay. But you know, this is where it starts. It's yes. a grassroots effort mm -hmm. to get the information out there, let people aware, let them know that this is this is a, a, a legitimate diagnosis and that yes. they're not crazy and that their doctor's not crazy because if he's never been if it's just not you know so rare that it yeah. might be something yeah. that maybe he studied about a long time ago yeah. but you know yeah. it's just and to not this out day there. there's pa patients who die in emergency rooms because there's not awareness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know and I think that's you know especially mom's main goal is so that someone doesn't lose a child like she had to right you know and it can be the doctor doesn't know about it and they give our, give the patient epi, epi and epi it epi. doesn't work and they lay there and die, yeah. you know, and just yeah. a little education yes. can go a long way. Right. Well, ladies, good luck to you. I hope Thank you have you. a great turnout. It, what time does it start? 12 o'clock till 6 o'clock. Okay. At yep. Heritage Park. Yes, ma'am. That's this coming Saturday. Yes. Just show up. Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for being here today. Very Thank interesting. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay tuned. We have more of Today on Tour right after this. Thank you.